along with just running the sink, it appears that things are okay. Now during our home inspection, when they put as much water through the system as they can, it was actually so slowing down a little bit. So right now I could hear air bubbling up through here and we could hear that in the basement when I installed that um, extra vent in the sink and it didn't really do anything with it so we took the vent out. The whole system needs to be snaked. So now you can see I've got a little water back flowing back up. So we're doing a whole system clean out. One of our most popular videos on YouTube has been how to use a sewer snake. Now you can rent these sewer snake machines at Home Depot. This is a hundred foot reel. They have them self-feeding and non-self-feeding. The self-feeding one is heavier and it can be a lot harder to hold. The lady was trying to tell us that this was 275 pounds. I have a really large trunk on my Buick LeSabre and it fits in the trunk. You can handle it. If you got two of you there, load it and unload it. You can get it. So he's gonna walk through and explain some of the parts um, and the running of it to get your sewer drain cleaned out. A thing to keep in mind is your house may have more than one clean out. And this is what your main sewer uh, looks like. And this is why you wanna rent the bigger machine. It's a three quarter inch flexible type stuff that goes through with these different cutter tips that go on the end or just spiraling to clean out hair. Um, this is a four inch pipe and it's four inch going out of the house. Whereas if you were just doing a sink, um, like here is underneath the bathtub, you've got, you know, two inch pipe. So the smaller homeowner one is light and small for getting in your car, but it's not gonna get through tree roots. You could have collapsed drain tile. The old clay tiles can break, get filled full of tree roots or filled full of sand. So this is a, like a plastic plug, isn't it? A newer one? Uh, this is a rubber and metal one. And okay. So I got that loose. And then probably with this one, it's getting a little slow. There's a couple of trees that are a lot more mature than the last time we did this. The last time we did this house, there's a clean out vent pipe, something that comes up to the sidewalk and somebody came through with a snow blower or snow blade, we weren't around, broke the cap off that the contractors put when they redid the road and the kids were walking home from school and throwing their pop cans down and the house started having trouble. So I went in and got to the sidewalk, which is probably 80 feet. And whatever I went through with last time, I'd feel an obstruction, pull it back out, and I was finding um, like half of a tin can, a pop can. I was pulling pop cans out, and I bet you I got like 12 of them. And then it finally it went through, so all we did of course was replace the PVC four inch plug at the road, and that never happened again. But now, maybe 15 years later, it's getting a little bit slow, and trees that we planted are some fast growing flowery trees or whatever, maple, oak, some things we've put out on the property might be down, getting down into there. So we're just gonna maintenance basically this time. The house is draining, everything's fine, but it's a little slow. Sometimes you can hear air wanna come in another part of the house where it's wanting to fill the house with water instead of just take it all down there. So that tells us it's time to clean out the main from the house to the road. And then from the downstairs bathroom, there's a clean out to go from that bathroom to here. But I'm gonna do this first. So, I mean, what's the point in cleaning out underneath the foundation of the house if 15 or 20 feet out you have an obstruction? Right. So it's pointless to me to do the inside of the house until you know this from the house out to the road is clean. So I'll do this one, then I'll go do that and then and that's the benefit that this house has. We don't have to pull back the carpet and tear up the concrete to be able to um, snake back. Uh, this is the laundry area here. And doing laundry, no gurgling, never any trouble. And we've got the deep utility sink. Um, but we could hear this gurgling and every now and then the toilet would clog. Well, we've got a secondary clean out right here. And this is another one of those things um, you need a pipe wrench for opening that. It's the old cast 
cap with a square nut kind of deal on top. So um, cheater bar may be necessary to get leverage, but this one came off real easy. So um, different cutting tips. These actually have spiral spikes on them. And because this was one of our most popular videos forever ago when our kids were little, uh, we wanted to show you in better detail what we're doing and how we're doing it. Now to rent this machine for four hours, uh, it came up like $70. It said $61, but tax and whatever. Um, deposit, things like that. Home Depot rents these out. You can get them for a day, you can get them for a few hours and get yourself back in order super cheap, cheaper than being on a waiting list or a call list for a plumber uh, to come and do it. So we're gonna get it done. Was the other one like a half inch? I think, the, or I think maybe she less. said this cable was three quarter by a hundred foot, and then the littler, cheaper one was half inch, maybe fifty foot or seventy five. But that that won't reach the road, so it's pointless. Yeah. So what I did is I put that <clears throat> that it's like a sawing tip. If there's roots, I always start with that spiral shaped cutter. It's kind of like this type tool, but spiral. I don't want you don't want to go in with one of these and catch a good size root and then twist it in because you I always want to saw through whatever is there assuming it's roots get it out of the way and then I don't know if I've ever used one of these because mm -hmm. man you could get yourself in trouble in a hurry digging into something and then how do you get it out wrapping that around a root yeah, I, right I, I don't I don't know if I've ever used it but basically what you do put it down a little bit and then when you really start needing some power push this down because otherwise this cable can try to twist within itself in this reel mm -hmm. so this keeps that tight they have a safety switch when you turn the power on right here they won't go there's some type of a vacuum switch right here when you push on it mm -hmm. then it turns so that if you fall down or get twisted up in something and your foot comes off and you fall the whole thing's going to stop so they recommend that you wear rubber gloves. <laughs> they recommend when you do this to wear leather gloves, and that was one huge comment uh, deal with the other. We didn't have gloves, and he just did it um, barehanded for a while, and he was fine. He's a tough guy. And then he did it with rubber gloves, and he was fine. He's still alive. The kids all grew up. <laughs> The whole drum spins, so you want to have the room clear of, you know, little people and stuff or just have them back. But it's a good learning experience as far as kids learning that you don't have to call everything in to get done. So now what you do, I'm just pushing this through as far as I can get away with it. Mm -hmm. Like this, it could go all the way to the road and I could never touch a thing. But you just don't know. I ran it in a circle for a little bit to get through the curves and to feet, and that's why I walked it ahead. Then obviously at this point, we're he just heading towards the road right now. And when it finds something it doesn't like, I won't be able to put any more in. And then I'll cut away at it for a while. Obviously it gets harder and harder to push in anyway. Yeah. Pushing a lot of weight. I think she said this weighed 279 pounds, and most of it, I think, is the cable. Yeah, and I wouldn't recommend that they had a tiny homeowner type one that did not have a motor. Um, th these little hand operated things that they have are for your sink drain, not for going out um, and through any kind of tree roots. So it kind of wanted to stop right there. Mm -hmm. I put it up through, I'm about to that tree, so it very well could be getting into something. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to let it run. Now on 
to go in. So probably equals something. Like that. Yep, if it's that far, you're probably. There's a pretty mature flowering tree that was planted maybe 16 years ago. Now it's to another spot, right in the yeah. tree area. And then there's an oak tree right there. Yep. So I'll leave a little bit of slack. When you have a real problem and you try to walk this ahead, it doesn't even want to feed in very well. You just got to let it eat for a little bit. chewing away at something when you get something really bad say you leave this machine out this far this will actually coil right up outside mm. it'll just stop this and then you just gotta sometimes when they're that bad because this house was still taking all of its water just slower than it was but when you're stopped completely and you have to get something through really bad then of course you'd just start with that yeah it's um even sand. We had one house where the clay tile broke and it was taking in sand to the point it was stopping and taking no water. Even this particular style tool will go right through the sand and then um, not necessarily take all your water quick, but when you pull it back out, you'll see remnants of sand and then you got real trouble because then you're digging like I had to. Mm -hmm. but this house is not, this house, like I say, just needs some maintenance. It's a little bit slower. So some people actually recommend putting a hose um, down here and start running water down the line and once you're clear, that's it. That's gonna be a problem because if it backs up, where is it gonna go? Right. On the carpet. I like to make it through the first time. If you have a slow drain, your pipe does have water in it. Yeah. And we, we ran water off camera, of course, to give it something. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. When it's really bad and you get through something bad, you'll actually hear that pipe sucking. It takes that whole four inch build up mm -hmm. and everything in the house that's been slow and just takes it mm -hmm. when it works well. And everything's gone and from that point on, you can give it all the water you want so that all the, there's rust in here, everything that you touch and falls down gets flushed as you do it so then you don't back up again. Yeah. But it's digging through something out there right now. So it's probably just tree roots. <laughs> has even ran um, like Roto-Rooter commercials advertising about the um, new products that are supposed to substitute and be flushable wipes um, blocking your system. Um, I've seen things about municipalities that it doesn't actually do any good. So this video could really help you a lot. slack and letting it, it's not allowing me to push through right now at all it's wanting to eat its way through <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
and that seems to help a lot. Notice I'm keeping it away from that painted wall, trying to keep the slack away because mm -hmm. it'll go over and yeah. So I'm trying to keep it over here. just heard it like glug. I don't know if the camera picked up the sound, but what I was talking about earlier where all of a sudden you'll hear water just woof, mm -hmm. it just did that. Yep. So uh, obviously without, I guess you could show them where the trees are compared to where we're standing right now, but that's where we're at. But you can see he's got a lot more feet of this coil on the reel, um, but once you get to the city that's that's it. And our municipality goes from the curb to the house is the responsibility of the homeowner. So like when that sidewalk was clogged, even though it's the city sidewalk and we just did it. Yeah. It was, they weren't we going to do anything about it. Did it ourselves. And then he replaced it with a flat glue on cap, didn't you? It had a, it had a cap with a square nub sticking up. For everyone to trip on. And... <laughs> Um, they just sunk it in too far or something, but a snow blade came through and hit that square piece and caught just enough to rip it out. Of course, we don't live here. Nobody knew it was in the middle of winter. The renters had no way. And then days or weeks later, the kids would just keep throwing their garbage yep. down there for fun. And it finally caught up with the house. But that uh, one of these cutters, all the pop cans, some of the pop cans would have went to the main in the street and some of them I was pulling right and as soon as I saw about half of a shredded off mm -hmm. pop can come out this way I knew we were all set because I knew what would happen and it's probably been 10 years since we've since done that or, or longer the kids were little this is this is probably just tree roots yeah. Yeah. That took a long time for it to chew through whatever enough to go on its own. So I was pointing to how it was flipping around so much and that's why he feeds it forward to help kind of control that and that's where the rubber gloves really come in handy because if you have to hold that to keep it from flopping, well if you can just feed it in then that solves yeah, all that issue. Yeah, you can not to do that. Um, but I'd say we're getting around. And, and keep in mind this 100 foot, the, the cable is longer than we even need we will be out by the time i realize how far i am and it's good enough we'll be out in the street yeah so but i've already heard it do a couple of really good things that sound where it took all the water that was sitting mm -hmm. in the pipe i heard that so. so like what he was saying and with it flopping around um this is somewhat recently painted so we don't want to mark up the wall with letting that hit the wall so if you have a finished yeah, basement a times. put a piece of cardboard there and um yeah. protect yeah. it it's it's not bad what i've yeah. done so far wash off <laughs> And 
if you're wondering, that's a Coca-Cola stain. We got to do a little peroxide and baking soda on there. Another how-to video. <laughs> Quite a ways out there. So when you get to the city, will it just go into a downwards fall? I don't know how, it, what the shape of it is at the end, if it dumps in sideways, but then you're into a huge, mm -hmm. I don't know what the size is, but at that point. Cause now it just seems to kind of be free. See, right there I was actually able to push it a little bit again. Mm -hmm. But it's not, uh, certainly not done. But by the time you get to the city pipe, it's so big. It... See if you're all the way through. I think we're past a certain tree or something. So you can see at this point, it's not a messy process. It might or could get messy reeling it back in. So you might want a tarp or whatever because yeah. that cable is gonna be coated with anything that was in the pipe. So well, if you had a complete by stoppage. You, by the time you pull it out, it's just clean water because you're running water. Yeah. When we get through, we'll turn the water on and then it just. Definitely. 
definitely chewed through something pretty hard there. They took it a bit. And that's the thing, you know, about it. You don't know what the last guy he cleaned out. This had like toilet ring wax on it um, yeah. when we picked it up. And like what I was saying about putting down a tarp, whatever they had, black, gross, rooty stuff is that's, that's dirty going to get carpet cleaned. But you're going to be in that area for that anyway. Yep. If you had something, it'd be fine. But So you just don't want to get yourself in a situation that you have to go rent a carpet cleaner if you don't have to. Stay by the doorway. Stay by the doorway. off from this point to the center of the road the manhole was 80 feet and the way you can figure these is this is an 18 inch drum so if you times 18 inches by 3.14 which is pi that's how much coil you have so you figure about every coil this is four and a half feet so we're way out past the center of the road so now we can pull this back out and get it fed back in which is not easy so can you hold that mm -hmm. to show you from a perspective of outside of the house this is a bathroom window so that tub drain is we were right underneath um, this patio slab for that drain and going out on an angle so we could tell we hit roots going here again here these trees weren't here previously this is the sidewalk clean out that we talked about and you can see even though we did a glue uh, down cap, it has been chewed up. Some people go through here with uh, snow blades, just neighbors doing snow plowing. And then to the manhole out there, he figured, you know, 80 feet plus, we were right out there to that. We're gonna be clear and in good, good shape. So it'll take care of many years of future root growth. He didn't feel that there was any problems with any drains collapsing or anything like that, good solid. Uh, drain going from the house. So we're all clear and free of roots and anything clogging the drains. Now I wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up. If you're going to run that sewer snake through more than once and have any water running, the line as you're pulling it back in is going to be wet. So we laid down some cardboard and we tried to keep the floor as dry as we could. I'm going to get my carpet cleaner, some black sooty stuff from, you know, trees and whatever. Um, sludge, Gotta clean it. Better to just cover up everything with a tarp the best you can. These kind of things happen. It's not a big deal. A little bit of Clorox on the wall and we're good as new again. So that is sewer snaking DIY for a homeowner. You can rent the machine, like I said, $75 or less for the day, four hours, plenty enough time. 
total running it out there twice with the different attachments doing the backside we're at about 30 35 minutes the rental place is 30 minutes away four hours is more than enough time to do that and it does really give you a lot of money savings you can buy these um units at like home depot menards i've seen them there before if you don't return it they're just going to charge you for it you know it's like four hundred dollars um it said for oh a week or something i don't know and then it was like twenty five hundred dollars uh to be able to own it so they can get very pricey or they can be very cheap in the you know four hundred dollar range i've seen them all over the place better just rent it for a couple hours this isn't the kind of thing that comes up very often like i said it's been you know 10 15 well, probably 10 years since we've actually done it here at this house. Good to do. So keeping that in mind, everything's clean. So you just want to make sure any of your P traps are clear, things like that. Um, we noticed that the tub was still running a little bit slow. So we're going to open this up and do a separate video on cleaning out your uh, bathtub, you know, things like that in the future. So thanks for watching everybody. If this helped you at all, give a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, do the like, you know, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. To show you, yes, it fits in your car.